Hello, one and all, this is one of Tacos, and welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM. When we last left off, I got the unfortunate reminder that I'm not actually looking to bag and tag a alien leader, I'm looking for an alien commander, which means we need to take either a battleship, which is the very large ships that sometimes appear, or a base, and we do not currently know the location of any alien bases. Uh, we're working on some research projects here at the main base. We're working on the PSYAP so that we can project our psionic abilities. We're building some Psylabs in various places. I don't remember what the mind shield... Alright, the mind shield makes the base significantly less likely to get attacked. Uh, we're working on the hyperwave decoders, which we almost have done. We have a psionics laboratory being built there, where we're just going to have to shovel our soldiers off to. We have another psionics uh, lab being built there, and here we're waiting for some of these structures to get built before we build more things. I have a lot of money, and I'm actually going to build a new base. I know I said I wasn't going to, but there is a reason that I'm doing this, and that is because if we're going to try to either need a battleship or an alien base, we need more knowledge of the globe. So, I'm building another base basically to act as a scatter system. I could put it right here. But that would give me control over the Arctic and uh, a decent chunk into Australia. Would give me those islands as well. Basically, I'm just trying to hit up uh, the part of the globe where I have the least amount of pull. I could also use South America. They're more likely to be in South America. If I put it here, or here, I get South America and a little bit of the Arctic. We're going to put it here. And we are going to name this one the Bastion. And here at the Bastion, we're going to put a uh, access lift right here. And I do not think we are going to build any hangars for this base, but I put it there just in case. Uh, we need a few things, a few various things. What's the first thing we need here? Honestly, the first thing we probably need is living quarters, because I have to send soldiers over here to be able to defend the base. We would think I would want the radar system first, but if I don't have any soldiers here, if they come in, they take the base instantly. So, so we have that being worked on now, and we are going to go ahead and speed time up and let things go. A small UFO on the ground. Meh, I'll ignore it. Construction of the hyperwave decoder at the Aegis is complete. Oh, all these are about to pop. Construction of the hyperwave decoder at the Bulwark is complete. Construction of the hyperwave decoder at the Fortress is complete. Construction of alien containment at the Fortress is complete. And boom! This is what the alien... This is what the hyperwave decoder looks like. We can see that it's a small UFO flying very high, heading west. This is all the stuff we know before. Now we know it's a scout ship with floaters on an alien harvest mission in South America. So we know we, we even know what direction it's going to be going in because we could look and see, hey, it's going towards South America. I want to check these bases real quick and see if there's anything else I wanted to move in. I could probably afford to move in some like plasma defenses. I probably really should get rid of the laser defenses in these various installations. Hmm. I should do something with my money. Well let's see. What do we what do we need? We don't need living quarters. 
We don't need a lab. Uh, how many workshops do I have here? Two? I don't need another workshop in this particular base. <laughs> Missile defenses are worse than laser defenses. General stores we don't need. Containment we don't need. Plasma defenses we might want. The grab shield basically fires twice. We already have a psionic laboratory being built here, and we have a hyperwave decoder. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and build plasma defenses right here next to the uh, laser defenses, and then we're going to deconstruct the laser defenses. And over here, we're probably going to start doing the same thing. I suppose I'm going to want one over here. Yep, I'm going to want one over here. Okay. So. We could send the Firestorm out. What are they manufacturing? Are they working on the other Firestorm? They are. Okay. We could go get it with the Firestorm. I think we will. Whoops. Wrong one. We want this one to send out Firestorm 2. I thought it was Firestorm 3, my mistake. We should be able to catch it, because we are a whole heck of a lot faster. It's just a medium ship. So we shouldn't have any issue. Yep, taking it out. And I think we're going to ignore the ground mission, because we don't need the resources, and I'd rather press time along. I think that hurts our score at the end of the month, but... Eh. At this stage in the game, we're really only interested in the biggins. Ah! 15 engineers at the bulwark. Excellent. Well, get on it. I still have workshop space available. Okay. We have a harvester, a floater harvester, on a mission to Europe. Where in Europe? That biggest way. And Firestorm 2 is already ready once again. Doesn't take long to refuel and rearm when you're only dealing with plasma. Ah, production of fusion balls at the fortress is complete. Excellent. I need you guys to work on something else. What do I need you guys working on, actually? They're working on that. They're working on nothing, because we still have the other craft here. So we want to take Interceptor 2. We want to strip it of its plasma beams. Then we want to sell Interceptor 2. And you guys need to manufacture another Firestorm. They should have everything to do it. They definitely do. Put all of your engineers on it. Which is not very many. It's going to take them a long time to get that done because I don't have another workshop. Let us go ahead and build another workshop. Why the heck not? We got the cash for it. Oh shoot. I, I made a mistake there. I went to 30 seconds, I shouldn't have done that. It is currently harvesting. I could send Sky Ranger. I probably should. Nah. Let it do its thing. Is that the same one? Maybe. Let's try this again. Please shoot it down this time. We have to be paying more active attention.
Two shots is all it takes. Plasma hits hard. Fusion hits harder, but I just I don't think it's worth the hassle. Well, there was a bleep there. Terror ship! Mutons! On a terror mission to North America. Incoming terror mission, boys! I'm pretty sure, I say pretty sure, because I'm not 100% sure, the way the terror mission ships work, um, I can shoot down the terror ship. But if I choose to shoot down the terror ship, uh, what will end up happening is um, they'll just send another one. Like, they'll keep sending terror ships until they get to terrorize the place that I want. they want to terrorize. Um, I know it works that way with alien retaliation missions. If they send an alien retaliation ship against you, the one that just beelines right at your base and then hits you, uh, you can actually intercept that and stop that. But if you blow it up, they just send another one immediately, and they they will not stop sending new ones until the intercept, like the the retaliation mission happens. We want to put all those laser rifles on board. Uh, we have enough smoke grenades. I need to purchase stun rods at every base. I need to remind myself to go take care of that. Seems like we have enough of everything that we would want. Is everybody wearing armor? Yes, they all are. Do I have any other spare suits? Nope, so I don't need to exchange any power suits for flying suits or anything. Uh, we need to purchase. I believe we buy stun rods instead of, yeah. You buy stun rods instead of um, making them. So we want to come here. We don't have enough storage space. Okay. Let's sell some things here then. Hmm. Don't have a lot here I'm interested in selling. I have two general stores. Because I have three over there. Oh no, I have three here too. Hmm. I'm hesitant to sell alien alloys, but I guess we don't need them. We'll just hold off on that then. And then over here, we'll purchase stun rods if it'll let us. Nope. Just something we're going to have to bear in mind for the future. Let us go ahead and save. We'll make a save 127B. And we can actually try to shoot this down. We can try to prevent the terror mission. But like I said, I think it'll just cause them to do another one. We know it's mutons. So... That'll make things a little easier for us. You can see, even on the five seconds, it's moving very quickly. It's gonna land any old time now. Whoops. I was thinking about sending the Avenger out, but I'm gonna wait. What, is it, what, California or something? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and send the Avenger. Oh, not the Firestorm. The Avenger. Out to there. Where is it going? Where is it going? Alaska? There ain't a lot left of that part of the world that's still North America, buddy. It's going up there? Yeah. 
The reason I'm preemptively moving the Avenger around is because um, I really want to make sure we hit this mission during the day. Okay, you know what? If you're gonna be indecisive, I'm just gonna take you out of the air. Come back during a day mission. HA! Or we could just knock it out. Sure! <laughs> That's the advantage of sending the Avenger out. You send the Avenger, the the game's like, yeah, you go, your crew's right there, you want to just like, take care of it? <laughs> I'm like, sure, why not? We have a couple of medkits lying around, so I'm just going to observe and see who kind of needs him here. Yeah, Jack can take it. Oh, we only have one. I thought that the two was for that. That should do. We're here. It doesn't cost us any extra fuel to get this done, so it might as well. It's still a daytime mission. I did not want that to become a nighttime terror mission. No aliens spotted. There's no longer any civilians to worry about, because it didn't become a terror mission. And we shot it down, so there's probably going to be at least a couple dead from the explosion. Or so we can hope. We want to make sure we save four time units here. Or snapshots, I mean. So far, not a soul. Not happy about that. Just moving as many people out as we can. There's GLaDOS. GLaDOS, go ahead and do whatever you gotta do to get over there. Anything else, we'll just have moved forward for the next turn. The Avengers a good craft. A really good craft. Okay. Shot at? I don't think that hit. I looked away for a second when they shot. That hit. We're not dead though. We hit him. Are we bleeding? We are bleeding, and fatally so. Okay. Do you have a med kit, Gnarl? Yes, you do. Convenient. Naro, heal him. Peter? Make the Mutron Man go away, please. Thank you, Peter. Let's go ahead and move up to here. to there. This is probably the first time where there he is. Hello. <laughs> Dead new Tom. This is probably the first time we have actually seen 
a terror mission ship because they do not share the normal structural type of the other ships. As a matter of fact, every single ship uh, type has its own layout, like the harvester, um, the retaliation ship, um, the terror mission ship, and everything. As you can see, just by looking at the outside, this ship doesn't look like the last couple of ships because, like I said, they all have different designs. And this is the first time we've ever shot down a terror ship, specifically. You hit him once, Riddick, but once is not enough. Try again. I might need to blaster bomb that location. Matter of fact, I will blaster bomb that location. I don't really care about what kind of damage we cause to the ship. Miss. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and end the turn. And as soon as I turn again, we shall call the video. Uh, Heavy has been hit but is undamaged. Thank you all for watching. This is Wonomataku saving, saving and signing off. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye bye and. Again, thanks for watching.